Hey kiddos, it's story time with Aunt Claire and Bo the Bear. Now this story that we're going to read to you today is special not only because it's our new favorite kids book, but also because it reminds us of a very special young man who is smart and brave. And his name starts with the letter S. This book is called Night Owl, and it's written and illustrated by Christopher Denise. Since the day he hatched, Owl had one wish. To be a knight. Every morning, before he drifted off to sleep, he imagined himself as a real knight. He would be brave. He would be clever. And he would have many friends. It was just a dream. Until one day... Knights began disappearing from the castle. So, Owl applied to night school. And to everyone's surprise, he was accepted. Owl was an excellent student. But he had a tough time with a sword. Even the smallest shield was a problem, and he had a habit of nodding off during the day. Night school was hard, but Owl worked and worked. He graduated with honor, as all knights do. Owl was assigned to the Night Night Watch. He was very good at his job. The other knights usually fell asleep during the long night night watch. But Owl didn't mind. All alone on the castle wall, he finally felt like a real knight. Until late one evening, it was very dark and very, very quiet when... Owl heard a strange sound. Whoosh! It sounded like a huge bird flapping its wings. Whoo! Owl called. He heard the sound again. Whoosh! 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 He called. Whoosh! Hoo! 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 Owl called. Who me? said a deep voice. Who you? asked Owl. I am a hungry dragon, said the dragon. Owl was very afraid, but because he was now a real knight, and knights are brave, he puffed out his feathers and said, I am Owl, and I am a knight of the Night Watch. You don't look like a knight, said the dragon. You look like a midnight snack. Owl's feathers trembled. But because he was a real knight, and knights are clever, he said, You don't want me. I am too small, hardly even a mouthful. 
A mouthful is enough, snarled the dragon. I am all feathers and fluff, said Owl. A great dragon like you needs something tastier and more filling. How about a pizza instead? It turned out that the dragon loved pizza. They talked about how each of them had hatched from eggs, how much they liked the night, and how flying was hard to explain to someone who had never done it before. They really had a lot in common. The following week, not a single night disappeared. Or the week after that. And every night, Owl patrolled the walls. It was very dark and very, very quiet. But Owl didn't mind because he was brave. He was clever. And he had many friends. That's it for now, but it's not the last story that we are going to read together. Bo and I love each and every one of you, and we can't wait to see you back here next time.